Hi everybody, this is Alex. Thanks for stopping by my blog. Today I'm going to show you a video where I challenged myself to use um, this orange paper that I had. I had a ton of it. Didn't know what to do. So out came the Create a Critter Cartridge and I cut out this little ducky that I thought was so cute um, and started figuring out what I was going to do. Um, Oh yes, I was so bummed when I cut out this um, duck, I realized that you could not uh, black out the top layer where her face is. I was totally going to use a peachy cane stamp that had so many cute stamps with, the, um, with beaks on them and you can't do that with this particular cut and I thought Provocraft messed up. So, but then again, they probably aren't associated with Peachy Keen. I don't know, but anyway, I had to get over it and use the cut as it is on the cartridge. I put it in the little beak that's, that's a layer there and then decided that I was going to um, use a little flower cut that I got from Forever Young put a little bling in the middle there for like a hair ornament and she was gonna need some eyes so uh, I used these little tiny rhinestones and they had blue ones I thought she'd have blue eyes which I thought was really really cute it would have been cuter with peachy keen stamps but I had to get over it like I said <laughs> okay so here goes her little hair accessory or feather accessory I guess you would say um, and I thought she came out just so cute the next thing I decided to use was this um, kind of brown paper like brown paper bag natural color cardstock and obviously a couple of my orange uh, challenge papers so this first layer is cut at four by four five and a quarter and it's a regular A2 size card oh yeah look I had I didn't do it right so I peeled it off and I'm doing it again uh, the base card is cut lengthwise I thought it would be something different to do um, this second layer I decided to get uh, some Martha Stewart, uh, this Martha Stewart um, punch. I had seen um, Tracy over at Craft Junkie use something similar and I really liked it so thank you Tracy for showing me how to do that and uh, I also had some coupons burning a hole in my purse so off I went shopping. Uh, so put that down and it really does give a really really nice effect those if you when the, you punch those four corners out. Uh, continuing on with the orange, I um, went ahead. Oh, I'm telling you that I cut the cardstock uh, the long way. I'm using some orange ribbon that matched perfectly, um, and doing my I'm practicing my my bows here. I think I need to do my videos in a different angle so that you guys can see a little bit better. Um, I'm hoping that with every video I do I get a little bit better so I thought that was really cute and I decided to make it to where I can adjust it because I wasn't sure where I was gonna want the bow more towards the top or more towards the bottom here's some Stampin' Up! Um, pumpkin Pie I think orange ink and I used um, a stamp from, um, from Stampin' Up! also and a one inch punch and it says hello and then a scalloped punch also using my orange paper and layering that down and then my crocodile oh my gosh don't these things look terribly dangerous <laughs> I was afraid of it for the longest time um, but now that I learned how to use it I really like the eyelets I like the what what it does to a project 
So I used kind of a natural color to go along with the, the natural base cardstock. And it's the smaller hole. So I'm putting an eyelet on there. And then some hemp. Mary at, uh, over at Cards TV and Momo, I've noticed I've been using some hemp, so I thought I'd try it out. And I just strung it through the little eyelet and made a little bow. And like I said, the angle's really bad because my hands are in the way, so I got to figure out a different angle there. Some dimensionals to pop up my little ducky. And there we go. So there she goes on her little card. Doesn't she look cute? Oh my gosh. And then what I wanted to do was um, kind of give the illusion that this little sentiment was kind of hanging so I'm trimming off the tails of the hemp bow and I'm going to use some um, glue dots just one glue dot really and just kind of position it so that it does look like it's it's hanging there and then later on you'll see I decide that I want the sentiment a little bit lower but all in all, I thought she came out so cute. You know, I'm really liking the whole idea of using kind of monochromatic colors. And then her little pink bow was just like pops, you know. Um.